This is what happens when you run out of gloves. How's it going YouTube? Right, we did a few bits in the last video, we've got to carry on now. Now we need to do the bull bar, the side steps and the rear bumper. We've got the Raptor, so we're going to cover it with that, but we've got to get it prepped first. Well the first job is I need to have a tidy up here and make a bit of room. There we are, got a bit of room now so I can see what I'm doing. There's a few things I need to do. I need to prepare this bumper because I want to take these little skirts off there and there'll be some bits under there that I've got to fill with fiberglass and repair. So I want I need to get that prepared. We need to get this sanded down because it's it's chrome finished now. Uh, I'll get that sanded down. And because it's impossible to get into all these little edges and stuff like this, I've got some U-Pole Grip 4, some uh, adhesion promoter. So all the bits that I can't get to sand properly, in theory, this should get in those little gaps. Then it's got something to stick to. Right, as you can see, these side steps are a bit rough as well. So I've got to strip these right down. I need to drill out these rivets take off this checker plate at the top then I can get all this rubber out this is hanging off anyway so I'll take it all out strip it all down then I've got to sand these bits down sand it all down clean it up and then they can be wrapped as well so but I think what I'll do first is we'll have a look at this bull bar see if we can get that done because I think that'll be like a, a can of raptor on its own and once again for anybody if they've not seen the last video uh, I've got a the Raptor. I bought the wrong one, I've got the tintable one so I, I need to add some black to it, we'll have a look at that later. It comes in these little bottles there, we've got some hardener and I put it on this uh, undercoating gun here. So we'll set that up at 60 psi and then we can spray it on. So we'll have a look at that later. First job is we need to prep this bull bar. Right, I've got a DA, uh, some 180 grit discs, and I'm just going to rough it up the best I can and get in all the places the best I can. It doesn't have to be a good finish because the Raptor really covers very well. Right, that's all ready. I've hung it up so I can get round it properly, so I can spray it all the way around. What I'll do next is I'm going to strip these sidebars down because I, I want that checker plate off of the top. So if there's any Raptor left from doing this, I can do those checker plates as well while I'm at it. So what I'll do is I'll get these rivets drilled out and I'll take it all to pieces. Right, that's everything there ready for spraying. So this Raptor, same as last time, got a gun set up to 60 PSI. Right, the Raptor, this is like a creamy colour inside because it's the tintable one. I want black. Uh, I meant to buy the black, but I didn't. So I've got some black there. Uh, you add 5 to 10% of your colour. So I'm going to add 5% uh, of this black because black colours it really well. And then you've got the hardener, you've got a little mixing cup with a fill line there, so you fill that with hardener, fill it up with hardener, give it a good shake and put it on the gun. So let's do that. Right, there we are, you can see inside it's like a, a creamy colour. So I've got 50ml of black, add that in, hardener to the fill line, add that in, give it a good shake. Right, that's all ready. Got a mask this time. 60 PSI, that's on the gun. Let's give it a spray. That's had a couple of coats. That's looking good. Uh, I only managed to get one and a half 
of those sprayed up. I forgot to say before I sprayed that Raptor, I, I put on some of the Grip 4 as well, just to just to make sure that I'd get into all those corners. I didn't show myself doing that, I forgot that bit. Right, I'm going to leave that for a bit, let that go off, and then we'll have a proper look at it, and we need to get these other bits done next. It's come out good. You can see the texture on it there. Everything's all nice and black. Uh, this one's done as well. That one's half done, look, so we'll do that later when we do those side rails. But I think what I'd like to do first is take this front bumper off and fit it properly. So I've got to get all those plugs plugged in and everything, get it back on, and then we'll get this on, put it on the van and see what it looks like and get this front end built up and finished. So that's going to be the first job. We'll do that now and then we'll move on to these side rails and then that rear bumper. Ends back together and completely finished now so this is how it looks I've got it off the jack so it's at the right height obviously there's a big gap once we get the new wheels on that'll look good that that's from this angle obviously once we get the wheels on that'll finish the look but that's how it's looking so far once we get these side rails black as well that's going to black it all out just nicely next job quick tidy up again and then let's get these side rails sorted out and take those little skirts off the rear bumper and fill that with some fiberglass filler and get that ready as well all right let's get on with this after i've tidied up again what i will do first actually is i'll take these side rails off i've got over here a bag of bolts so i'm going to figure out how to mount these to the van before i wrap to them just to give me less messing about once they're wrapped i don't want to be banging them about because even though this is hard, it takes about seven days to get to its full hardness, I suppose. So I could damage them. So I don't want to be messing about too much when I put those on the van. I'll get these brackets on first. We can actually have a look then and see how they look on the van and see how they sit as well before I paint them. Right, those brackets took some figuring out. It's on now anyway. So this is how it sits. Obviously these aren't ready. Well, this is how it's going to sit with the profile of the van. They're going to stick out a little bit. Give me a little bit of a step. So I'm going to get the other side done now, get all those brackets set up. Then I'll take this off again. I think while I'm under there, actually, I need to get those bolts out for the anti-roll bar that I sheared the other day. So I'm going to do that as well while it's up. So it's going to be a while for me, but for you, it's going to be a few seconds. So I'll see you in the garage with these off and then we'll get them sprayed up. Right, there's the side rails. What I've done is I've bolted them together, look, just so I can get them nice and stable on this bench. And then I'm getting the most out of the spray. I've put these back on as well, just because when you're passing across, most of it ends up on the floor anyway. So if I get all this together, get these nice and close together, at least I'm making use of each pass anyway then. As you saw, I sanded these down, covered them in the U-Pole Grip 4, just to give it a bit of help. Then what I've done is I've given it a coat of the military paint, mainly for the underneath, because I, I probably won't get the proper coverage under there anyway. But this is where I want the coverage, mainly. I've put this checker plate back on, just so I get the proper coverage, and I'm making most of each pass, like I said. So I'm going to get some more of this Raptor mixed up, and then give it a spray. And fitting those brackets and drilling out those bolts that I'd sheared off was a bit harder than what I expected. I spent quite a few hours under there. It's actually the next day now. But at least when these are painted, I can get these bolted straight up under the van when they're dry. And I'm not going to risk damaging them then while they go properly hard. Uh, one thing I have noticed as well, because I needed to move the van back a little bit, the starter motor seems to have died as well in the time it's been sat there. So looks like I've got to order a new starter motor as well while I'm at it. 
money pits, these Volkswagens. There's those done, they've turned out really well. Right, I'll let those dry and then I need to get these rubbers back on. So we'll put the rubber back on there. Put some new, I've got some screws to go in there. So I'll put some screws in there and build those back up once it's dry. But they've turned out really well. Yeah, that's a, a really good finish that is. There was enough left in the gun as well to the, these quarter panels under the lights. So I've done those as well. There's all the side rails built up. I think they've turned out really well. So I've put this checker plate back on. I've put the rubber back on first. I've put some screws in there, you can see, and I've colored those black. So this is how it's ended up. I think they've turned out really well. Right, what I need to do now is I need to get these unbolted, get them back on the van. Right, we're obviously another day on now, and yesterday, after I painted these, I started having a look on that starter motor as well. It didn't need a new starter motor, it was a, the earth cable had broke off, so I've repaired that. That's back up and running again now, so I don't have to change the starter, luckily. But what I am going to do is I'm going to fit these side rails now on the side of the van. I'll not video it, I'll spare you me looking like a tortoise on its back for a while, so I'll show you what it looks like when these are on. Right, they're on, so let's have a look at them, shall we? That's the steps on. If I step back a little bit, that's how they look. They're coming out just a little bit further than these tyres. We'll see what they look like once the new wheels are on. That's the height they're sat at. Obviously, when the new wheel's on, I think that'll lift it up again just a little bit. But I think they've turned out well. If we look at them from this angle as well, I think they suit the look of the van. There's the other side as well, just for some comparison. I think they look good. Right, next job, I need to tidy up this again because I'm leaving a constant mess. And then get on this, get this sorted out. This is going to be raptored the same as these. And then get that back on the van. I've got a bit of repair job to do then because when I bought the van, this was all smashed up. Uh, this is broke again when I was taking that off. So a bit of fiberglass repair on that. That's the next job. So I'll see you back in a minute once this is all prepped up. I've got all the bumper prep now, that's all ready for this Raptor. I've fiberglassed all this corner back up, I've not even finished it that good to be honest, I've just sanded over it quickly because this Raptor covers everything so well. I've given everything a, another coat of the Grip 4 just to make sure it sticks around the fiberglass bit and in some corners and things like that, just where I struggle getting the sander. So that's all ready now. Let's get this wrapped up and then that's the last bit to be done. So I'll get this last can mixed up now. There's the bumper, all done. Nice and dry now. It's turned out to be a really nice finish. Uh, this will be nice and hard wearing this. It takes about a week to go off, like we've said before. Uh, these reflectors, I've put those back in. I've got here some more of those little plastic trim bits that need to go on here, but I'll, I'll wait till I've fitted the bumper first and then I'll fit these, just so I can make sure they're lined up properly. So the first job, is get the bumper back on. We'll get these little quarter panel bits back on as well under the lights, get it all back together, and then we'll stick those back on. So I'm gonna do that now. I'll see you in a second when we've got this back on the van. Right, there's all that back on. That's all back together. I think that looks good actually, how the black comes up the side. I think that's suiting in quite nice with the style. If we have a look at it from this angle as well, I think that follows through nicely and follows that style. Uh, I've still got these bits to put on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick those on next. I don't know how well aligned I'm going to get them because this is how this fits in. It's not the best. Uh, so it's probably going to be a little bit back and sticking out a little bit, but it is what it is. I would have left it like that, but the one on the other side, there was a load of holes in there, look, and I didn't repair them because I, I thought I was putting that over. Right, that's those on. They almost line up. That'll do. It's good enough for me. There's the other side on there as well. 
that's the same that almost lines up it's good enough i've completely forgot where this video actually started because it's been over a week now i've been doing this one so there's a bull bar done and the side rails we've done that rear bumper we're almost there now we've got a, a couple more bits to do i've literally just today had a new spoiler turned up i've got these cutouts on mine where i had the bike rack on before so i'm going to change that out what i'll do is the new one i've got i'll paint it that military black so it's going to be this color this military gray sorry not black and then stick that on there so that's one for the next video uh, whilst we're waiting for these wheels to come because hopefully they'll be turning up in the next few days so what i'll do is i'll get that spoiler done this light bar we need to wire up as well as you can see there in that box i've got a wiring kit there's a switch already in the dash which lights up this one so all i'll do is i'll i'll parallel that together so when that switch turns on this one and this one turn on but on separate relays so we'll wire that up in the next video as well that's looking good we just need the wheels now to finish it off new spoiler like the video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more i've got some more videos coming up as well we've obviously got to finish this van and i'll catch you guys in the next video cheers